Welcome back to Urban Pastures Art. And if this is your first time here, I'm Maureen White. I love making art that's whimsical, playful, filled with joy, color, line, shape, and form. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how I created a tulip painting. Tulips are simple to draw, and the paint you just put on layer by layer to create that luminosity that tulips have. I hope that you can sit back and enjoy the painting. And now here's the video. I really appreciate you stopping by. Bye now. Bye. Bye. I start with a canvas that's 9 by 11, and it's already been gessoed, which is a primer. But now I'm going to put black gesso on it, which is another primer, and all over the sides and the top and that will dry. And once it's dry, I can then apply my drawing onto it. <clears throat> now the drawing is uh, the tulips, and I already have that finished. And <clears throat> once the gesso is dry, I'm going to take the drawing and put it on top of the black gesso. But you'll see here I'm putting chalk, white chalk, on the back of the drawing, and then placing it onto the black canvas that's so that I can see the lines as I trace over them with a ballpoint pen. And the ballpoint pen just helps me know that I've gotten all of the lines. And then once I remove this, you'll see that a lot of the chalk just got onto the surface of the painting. And I will take a wet cloth here and get rid of some of that just so it's easier for me to see as I paint. Um, and I also went over some of the lines. Now I'm taking white paint and I'm going to go back on top of the tulips that are now black, but not the line part, okay? I'm just going to put the paint onto the different areas and you can see how the line is being exposed there. Now I know this sounds like probably or looks like a lot of extra work, but it's the way I like to work and it gives it that kind of whimsical or folk art look that I appreciate. As, and then um, this will take, yes, this will take about two coats of white just to make it solid because I do want my bright colors to really pop on this background. So uh, the whiter it is, the, the more bright the color will be. Now as I put the uh, white uh, paint onto the background, you know, I don't really care of how many layers this has. I Sometimes I let, let some of the black shine through, and uh, then I'll apply the paint. And you'll see through the video how this background really evolves. You know, a part of it is, um, you know, you just kind of get ideas with the color as you go. And... Uh, you'll just see how I did it. And I have to, I have to admit, I don't ever really have a preconceived idea. I kind of know that what I want, but not totally. And so sometimes the colors keep changing. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the painting.
to the end of the painting. I hope you enjoyed it. Mr. Archie seems to like it. Anyway, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end if you made it, and I hope that you found some good content in this video. Please press that like button if you did, and I hope to see you in my next video. Or I hope you'll see me in the next video. Bye now. <laughs>